welcome to 3ds Max news for the month of May. This month we have Sinai Software, creators of Max scripts and plugins for 3ds Max like Ignite, Scribe, Disperse and multiple free Max scripts released Mojo. Mojo is a very simple but powerful way to build and customize your widgets. You can see how easy it is to organize the huge amount of Max scripts that Sinai offers to accelerate your workflow. You can move them around, make it bigger or smaller, separate them by tabs and yeah, a lot of things. A very easy way to have more tools easily accessible. They also released a masterclass in this YouTube playlist with 17 tutorials so far. You have short and to the point videos covering the different plugins and collections that they offer free max scripts and an overview of every product that they have, together with examples by third-party renderers including V-Ray, Corona, Arnold, Redshift and Octane. As a curiosity, the CG character that you can see presenting all these videos is called Rudy, is animated in Real Illusion Character Creator and iClone, and they are using 3ds Max and V-Ray for rendering her in different situations for an immersive experience while learning, all these videos are in 4K and there is a lot of material there to cover. Sebas Technologies presented Thinking Particles 7.4. On this veteran particle simulation for 3ds Max, they added support for 3ds Max 2026, 160 new MEL functions, and MEL is his math expression language, allowing to access to every mesh component, vertices, faces, normals and elements. Some new features are a simple deform with pose matching controls that allows any mesh to maintain or revert to their original pose, a new feature for his NPM solver to wake up on moisture to awake particles as they absorb moisture over time, as well a new spline force node and a new way to create markers using MEL. Make sure to stay for the 3ds Max is only for RGB section later on this video because we have an awesome shot that I'm sure that you saw already and was done in Thinking Particles. Mihai Lupo released Hair Cars tool for 3ds Max. We already covered it last month as a preview, so this we will keep it short. It's now available and is an extensive set of tools to our direct hair creation in an easy and powerful tools, and the tool starts at $30. But Mihail is not stopping here, he presented his next project, still in development, called Fuscars. It is a tool to place and scatter cars that can be used for animals and characters. You can see the tool in action and in how, in how the different tools allows to art direct very precisely these cars with tools to adjust, rotate, disperse, scale, all with a brush and it's looking very interesting. Pattern Engine 1.4 has been released for 3ds Max, the tool allowing to generate all types of patterns now with custom shapes to use as pattern item, including text objects, characters from text to extract characters from any object, pick from another pattern to stack different patterns, making it very powerful, and more improvements, now also comes with a 10 days free trial to check it out. Joseph Spacefrog updated his IFC importer plugin, now supporting Max 2017 up to 2026. The tool, as it claims, allows to import in 3ds Max IFC files, and this is a total free script, you can always thank Joseph with a coffee. Daniel Swan updated his DSL scripts, you can see this tool for example to create precise fillets when you need to create a fillet over a spline that is not in 90 degrees and you need something really, really precise. This tool allows to do it. And another handy update is on the tool that reconstruct transforms semi-automatically. Now works even if the pieces are symmetrical, before it was not working. So yeah, you can have meshes that are aligned inconsistently. The pivots are not aligned with the orientation of the shape. This tool will transform all bounding boxes, pivots, pretty cool. Again, all these scripts are free, so amazing. 
I Hub can deals share a script that allows to log your Solidity Max files using passwords and different options, like allowing trusted workstations, number of possible attempts to add your password, and others. This script costs $10. Medi share file merge X and it's a plugin that works like the built-in file merge in 3ds Max with way more options. You can merge by objects, by groups or by layers. Amazing. Filter by type, auto expand, auto select and more. This plugin costs $20. And let's go with 3ds Max is only for RGB. We start the section by no other than Stefan Hampel. We have him on this section regularly with another amazing scene, kind of like recreating this 60s crime scene with a lot of detail. The, and the usual tools are present with B Ray and Forest Pack. This one is not yet on his gun road, but he usually posts their complete breakdowns and some scene files for all these amazing scenes that he's creating. It's very worth watching if you see anything there interesting, because there's a lot of knowledge there. And another artist from ILM that is around here usually, William Firiantini, did this personal project during his free time, a sci-fi scene using Forest Pack, V-Ray, Nuke and Resolve. What a complete month! We have also a post from Alex Nice in a stack group in Facebook. After his concept art done for Alien Romulus, the movie, he moved to work for Disney Lion King Mufasa, doing some great concepts again, a lot of variation here, you can see the different types of mood, some dark concepts, some more colorful ones, they are all looking amazing. Check on a stack group to check them uh, all of them in detail. And he says all done in using 3ds Max, V-Ray, Typeflow and Forest Pack. Amazing stuff one more time. Nail Griffiths comes with this awesome concept creating a self-propelled setup done in Typeflow with joints and just a simple circular motion that is driving the full physical thing and comes with some hilarious animals using this under the hood, this mechanism to animate this cloth behaving animal and it's quite hilarious. Angelo Teixeira shared with 80 level this cool system done in Typeflow to get as an input any low poly geometry and it's voxelizing it and creating these high rise structures made of stones. Also with some animations looking very very nice. Omar Leiva created this psychedelic curve that interact with each other creating a very interesting result one more time with Typeflow. And if you want more Typeflow content, go to my Patreon. This month, four new tutorials exclusively for Patreons. One using the new value operators to control the temperature of particles and doing popcorn. So they will hit over time and they will explode. Another one covering Typeflow 1.1 to 7, all the new updates with examples for every new update I am covering. I have over 26 videos just covering Typeflow updates. We do some fake fluid dynamics as we saw in the Grand Theft Auto 6 new trailer using max constraints and using Typeflow modifiers in the mix to create this fake real-time water inside a bottle. And we start a new series covering Speed Tree and I have prepared 5 different tutorials covering animation in Speed Tree but as well how to move it into 3ds Max and some tips and tricks that you can use together with Typeflow. Antonio Perez shared his cool work doing a crocodile, doing the modeling, textures, look dev, lighting and environment using 3ds Max, ZBrush, Redshift, FStorm and some AI. Paul Neal is showing off his skills creating rigs. We have this nice crowd food with one single control object to create this uh, very nice animation. And this cool mecha rig with some fancy controls on his pelvis and he's on a stack group on Facebook explaining a little how this works.
Lian Jingti again on a stack sharing these very cool animations of hybrids between animals and mechanical powers. We have a spider, a fish, a scorpion, and a shark, all mixed with mechanical components, and they look pretty cool. Claire Obscure Expedition 33 has been the video game surprise of the year. This video game by a new French studio is now one of the favorites to get the Game of the Year award and it comes from nowhere, a very small team that is his first project and you can see a making of on Facebook where we can see multiple tools in use but for some insider information I know that all the animations that you can see on the video game has been externalized to a Korean studio using you guessed it, 3ds Max and Biped for all the character animations. We can see on LinkedIn that we have Saiban Kim that share a very cool animation from a boss in the game that you can see it in action. You cannot see it here that it's Biped, but we know that all these animations, uh, he claims that it's 3ds Max and they have been using Biped for all the animations. Evgeny Prasolov, this freelance artist come with this complex rig for the landing gear of a Boeing 7879 and it's looking really good and really complete. You can check all the intricate mechanism that he is using under the hood with all these pieces uh, interacting with each other. Who remembers this shot from Final Destination 2? I think I had multiple nightmares based on this specific scene with the locks failing from the track. It was a shot that became kind of like a big part of the franchise because it was quite epic at the time. And before an after portal has a complete article talking in how Digital Dimension created this spectacular effect in 2003, that's quite some years ago, uh, that captivated a huge audience back then. We have videos from the first test done for the shot and some making of. And you guess what? It was completely done in 3ds Max. They say that they use a rule-based particle simulator and by the icon on the 3ds Max viewport you can tell that this is thinking particles. And we know from Facebook that some people said that they use the old reactor for the chain that you can see on the background. I remember seeing a breakdown of this scene specifically uh, 20 years ago, more than 20 years ago, and learning about thinking particles for the first time because this specific shot is what intrigued me to start learning the, the tool. And very funny thing, we can see here the crew that work on this original shot, and we have Justin Mitchell that was in charge back then of the FX, and he has been my FX and CG supervisor for the last 10 years at the Skyland VFX. Very cool to recognize some names on these shots that become a staple in the industry. And it's one of these shots that even a lot of time pass, it looks amazing more than 20 years later. Norberto Aguilera doing as usual very cool animations and as usual using Biped. And we have Asterix and Obelix, the big fight that has been released in Netflix. This popular and hilarious 3D recreation of the popular comic, big fan of the comics, I have all the comics, has been done by the French studio TAT. I did some investigation and this studio consists of around 350 artists and they have been working on multiple high quality productions in France and if you check some of the photos from the studio, we can see that they do most of the work using 3ds Max and they are using it for modeling, lighting, rendering and animating. One very cool European 3D studio using 3ds Max. And we are on the learning section, we have Chang So that is back doing tutorials for Autodesk again. We will have three new tutorials. The first one is available covering conform and in under 9 minutes it covers a lot of things, a lot of tips and tricks and an awesome explanation of all you can do with this tool that is pretty amazing. And if you want to get deep into shading, V-Ray has a complete guide over subsurface scattering in V-Ray, core concepts and how to use the different materials that V-Ray offers to control this effect. And that's all for the month of May, remember to give a like, give a comment, subscribe if you are not subscribed, share this video with your friends and thanks a lot a lot to all my patrons that makes this possible and check Patreon, we are having more and more tutorials, we are crossing the 250 private tutorials for Patreon at this point, 
uh, with four new exclusive tutorials a month. I think that there's quite a lot of cool content there and we are having a lot of fun discovering new things in 3ds Max and Typeflow. Thank you guys and see you soon, bye!